Hey guys, what's going on? Drax here, back with another episode of Hypermind Vanilla for you guys today. That's right, we are back. And I am, I'm pumped guys, I am ready to do something with you guys today. You can see behind me there is a rather large pillar of coal. That's all the coal ore that I have collected uh, pretty much on my time on the server. If I haven't, you know, fortuned it up already. But that is a 5x5. Five five. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. That is a 5 by 5 by 34 large tower of coal that is crazy amounts of coal um i am going to be mining that with a fortune three pick i'm not going to do it on camera to you guys because that's going to take me quite a while but uh as soon as i do uh, i'll be right back so i hope you guys um you know leave me some numbers i hope that's not going to work yep that didn't quite work at all all right all right so we're looking at about 20 minutes later and I have everything in here, and then these four or three and a half stacks in here. That's kind of a lot of coal. I mean, I already have this many blocks. I'm actually going to pick all of these up because I'm going to craft all of these into, uh, into blocks while I'm talking to you guys here real quick. I know it's just going to be like three stacks of blocks, but, you know, whatever. Um, yeah, so the Hermitcraft UHD episode, the last one uh, for me, went up this morning. Um, it's pretty incredible to see the amount of support that the Hermitcraft guys have really given me. And if you are new to my channel from that, I want to thank you personally. Um, you know, leave it in the comments down below that you are here from the UHC and uh, I, you know, I'd love to to thank you again personally uh, for that because it has been such an amazing little uh, little tidbit of of information, not information, uh, a little tidbit of just huge support that has been pouring out from you guys and the community that's on Reddit. You know, Reddit for the most part is a very uh, in my experience, a very hostile environment, you know, you don't really get away with too much with Reddit. Do I have anything else I can fortune before I throw this pickle in the in the thingy? So to see, you know, a huge amount of support uh, from them and from you guys, it's it's been awesome, you know, and uh, I, I know that I have a lot of people here from that environment and... Uh, you guys, I'm, I'm sure, are looking forward to a bunch of Minecraft videos. Of course, you know, that's why we're all here, to l learn about Minecraft videos. Uh, or not to learn about, but to watch Minecraft videos and whatnot. So, um, I haven't really done too much in the cave here. Uh, you know, it's pretty pretty similar. Uh, me and Wooly, or Wooly, I should say, not me, uh, fix this thing up a little bit. So that way we don't have that one furnace turned off all the time. Um, there's still a little quirk with it that I'm not too happy about, um, like the fuel thing. But, you know, that just kind of fixes itself as we put more fuel in. But we have, um, we're not going to work on it today, but we have another place. We have a bone place. I found a skeleton, uh, far, or grinder spawner way out back that way. And I thought that it would be cool to be able to, um, you know, get that be able to AFK out there and just have all the bones cycle back to us. But today, uh, while we sit here and talk and whatnot, I want to I want to build a mine shaft. Um, I want to have a place to be able to drop down and go mine because, you know, I do a lot of stuff down in my cave and there's spawns mine shaft is over there. It's not too terribly far, but I'm actually going to go put my uh, my pick up and grab a couple items. Uh, but, you know, just nice to kind of have your own in the area. 
we'll probably grab some torches here. I'm going to grab an arrow. Because I kind of put all that stuff away. And then we'll grab some of you. And I'll probably make just another stack. But yeah, the, the UHC has been absolutely phenomenal. You know, I couldn't have asked um, for any, any better of the outcome. The UHC itself was fun. You know, the people that were a part of it were fun. It was just an all-around blast. And... I hope you guys kind of see that in the videos. It was it was a lot, a lot, a lot of fun. So, um, but yeah, I I don't really know what else to say about that. It was it was incredible, and I uh, I loved it. And I think that you know if I'm fortunate enough to be invited in the future, I gladly take the opportunity and uh, just roll with it, and you know hopefully. We can, you know, expand our teams a little bit, and maybe I can get on a, a team with someone that I don't already know. <laughs> uh, but Ruby was a great partner. Uh, you know, he's he's a, a friend of mine. Um, I've known him for a long time, so you know, there was no, um, I guess, nerves with Ruby because he, you know, I knew him, and uh, it was it was cool. You know, it was unfortunate that I didn't get to meet anybody else new um and kind of get to know them a little more but you know it's uh it was good you know ruby and i were a good team we we tried our best we hesitated there at the end um a little bit and it was just you know the way the go cards go i really thought that i had xb i really did i thought i had him um, and I guess he just had a little bit more than I did, and uh, I had three golden apples, and I should have, you know, I should have ate one a little bit sooner, but for some reason I didn't. Um, but you'll see if you watch the video, I hesitate. I hesitate big time, and uh, I just I can't do that. And you know, it's UHC. You got to go, and you got to go. You got to go. <laughs> uh, so I'm trying to pick out a place here for the mine shaft to go down. Because uh, there's a little special thing that I want to do with it. I think we might actually take it... I kind of want it to have a, a bigger entrance. Like a little bit grandiose entrance. Um, this is not bad, actually. Let's Yeah, let's take this back a little bit. I'll take it back to, to there. Let's throw some torches on the bar. Um, but yeah, like I, you know, it was, it was a lot of fun and, uh, congratulations to the winners. to come in here a little bit. Like so. Probably just throw a torch there. Um, put that there. That way, you know, that wall will be encased. Um... Okay, so I'm going to dig this out a minute, and uh, I'll be right back. Already starting another coal or <laughs> little deal. Um, I want to uh, head off, and because the only work pick that I have is the Silk Touch one, uh, and a Fortune, and I got this Unbreaking 2 one. So I want to head off to um, the end, and I want to make up... Uh, a couple of picks and just do some enchanting and whatnot. So uh, we're gonna head over there and I'm gonna take you guys along for the enchanting ride. Alright, so I'm over here at the end farm doing some enchanting. I figured I'd bring you guys along. We're gonna do five diamond pickaxes and see what we get. Unbreaking three, that's a good start. That's all that is. Okay, let's do another one. Unbreaking three. Efficiency four, not bad. I can dig that one. Got one more, and then I'll have to do some more level gathering. Fortune 3! Fortune 3. Okay. Time for some more levels. Alright, so I got a couple more levels here. Let's see. Efficiency 4. There we go. And then one more. Efficiency 4. Unbreaking 3. Not bad. So we've got an unbreaking and an efficiency. Those two are probably going to get combined. And then these two are decent work picks. Um, I actually think that I'm going to take... Let's see. What do I have in here? Just unbreaking. Yeah, I think I'm going to take the um, 
the efficiency and combine it with this other one. That way I can get a uh, efficiency 5 pickaxe, just like so. We'll take this bad boy, put it in there, take that one out, and then we're just going to leave these in my ender chest. And we're going to go for a roll back. So, uh, it could be pretty good. Um, I'm assuming these hoppers are all probably filled up. Nope, not really. Well, that's good. All right, so I'm going to head back, keep on digging, and bring you guys back for some more progress. All right, I have just about everything gathered up that we're going to need to finish this little project off. I actually was going to grab some redstone here real quick just to get a couple of blocks. That'll help me out a little bit. Um, so what I'm building is just a, a mine shaft where I can come to the beginning without having to run all the way back up and be able to just dump an inventory full of items, you know, into a uh, minecart chest dealio like that and have everything sent back up. So um, what we're going to do for this is actually I'm going to run powered rails all the way down this thing just so, you know, we'd have guaranteed to have a lot of a lot of power. So we're going to come all the way down to there and then I'm going to come just to there. We're going to have two things there with a button on the wall. Now, it's you know nothing fancy, but it'll work. Um, we're going to stop right here. Just going to break those little bits. Put that in and then we'll put some of the rail back. Then we're going to come up to the top. I'm going to break the second one there. Thank you. Be able to put it there and there. And then I'm going to go right in the middle. Uh, yeah, this looks to be a good middle. We're going to do the same. I know that's really expensive, uh, but frankly, I don't really care all that much. Grab that. Uh, we've got torches on that wall. Let's put another one over here. Oh, that's kind of dark. So uh, when it comes up, I want it to take. Uh, I want it to take its items over to some chests. Let's see. Boom, boom. Actually, grab my axe here. I want it to go into the wall. One, two, three, four, five. Four, five. So, you know, just because we're not going to have a lot of chests over here. Let's see. Um, you know what? I might just do the one chest. Because, you know, if I do that much mining, that's kind of a lot. So let's just do the one chest. Kind of fill this side back in a little bit. You know, if I could come up, make my mind on how I want to do this stuff, right? Uh, should have a button there. Should have a powered rail there and there. Shouldn't be too big of a problem there. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, it kind of is. All right, we're going to have to move everything back one. Me real quick. Thank you for that. Button there. Two rails there. Uh, actually, just grab that one. Boom, boom. And we can do this. Don't really know what I was thinking there. Um, okay, so now I should be able to... Oh, wait. that guy there fill that back in and so that should help us out 
So now, if I go down and say I just, you know, want to throw some stuff in there, and then yada yada, I found a whole bunch of stuff. Hit the button. It goes up. Now I might need to come up with a little something uh, that I might not know how to do. Um, just so when it's empty it comes back down. I think that would be pretty neat, but I really I don't know uh, I don't know what the process of the comparator would need to be to do that. So I might mess with that a little bit off camera. But that's basically going to be it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, the basic gist of this episode was to just tell you guys, thank you for, for subscribing to my channel. Uh, thank you for coming and checking me out if you have come from Hermitcraft. If you haven't, you know what? Thank you anyway because my channel uh, is you know not the biggest, but it's, it's growing. And I, uh, I thoroughly love doing this and I... You know, it's one of those things. It's a dream that I never knew I had. And it's a pretty big dream now. So, alright guys, my name is Drax, and I will see you in the next episode of Hyper Mine Vanilla.